Hello, this is Elder Grifanov, the developer of HSM Advisor Speed and Feed Calculator. Uh, today I would like to show you how to use the manufacturer's speeds and feeds. Now, these tables allow you to specify custom speeds and feeds for various tool types and uh, manufacturer brands. Let's first uh, turn off the tool tip help because it's going to be just in the way and uh, you can go right away into the manufacturer's speeds and fits. Just expand this panel if you need to. Click edit. Here you see the uh, custom speeds and fits dialog. You can select the tool type, the, the table, custom table and the material. Let us select the solid end mill and let us create a new custom table for, um, for example, Hanita, uh, Hanita uh, animals. So we need to specify the brand name and the series name. Uh, let's have this very mill one. And insert name is not really required, so we can skip this. Let us select the, the material, mm, 4130, good enough. And here, right now, you can uh, edit the, oh, select the, the custom table. And now you can edit the cutting speed for this tool type and this custom table and this material. So let us imagine that this cutting speed is very slow for this material or very fast. So let's change it to 300 surface feet per minute and feed rate to 2.5 tau per fluid per revolution. Uh, okay, basically that's it. Now we can create another table. We're gonna call it also Hanita, but this is gonna be very middle uh, 2. Okay, and select that table, select the, enter the new cutting speed. Let's think this is, this can cut faster and let's change the, the feed rate to 2.9 for half inch end mill. And at this point we can just close it. So what we have now is custom table uh, drop down box now has these uh, tool types specified. Right now, if you have any tools in your library that have the brand name Hanita and Varimil 2 as a, as a series name, then the, the manufacturer speeds and fits will be automatically picked up. And you can also see that the speed is 350 surface feet per minute and chip load is pretty much what we have uh, suggested. Let's save this tool into a new uh, new tool library. Test. We're gonna call it test. Okay, add this tool. Let's now edit this tool and we're gonna Call it Hanita Varimil 1. Okay, now oh, I guess I saved it in the wrong place. Okay, edit tool info. There was supposed to be test library. Okay, so now, now we are going to have two tools in our test library. Uh, one is Varimil 1, one is Varimil 2. And each one of them has uh, different custom speeds and fits table attached to it. So if you select Varimil 1, then your speed and fit for this tool type is going to be this. And if you select the other one, then the speed and feed is going to be this. Notice the difference. Uh, 
for some reason the the custom table drop down is being reset and uh, oh I know why so basically the the custom table is being reset for this tool type to automatic because this tool was saved with automatic speeds and feeds to enable uh, manual ones you have to select the custom speeds and feeds in the speed and feed source in the tool information so right now the custom table and speed and chip load will follow the tool type and um, same thing we can do with um, with a drill for example let's select a drill Robert twist drill let's pick up uh, ah, same material and um, let us edit the the parameters for this create new table call it um, I don't know what's the Gurin and then I don't know maybe G5 I don't really remember the serious name for uh, for these drills save select and as you see each uh, each tool type has its own custom tables so these these don't intersect if you select the if you create a tool table a custom table for drill you will not be able to access it with the endmill tool type and that makes a lot of sense so tool type jobber twist drill a custom table green g5 material same and let us set the speed for that uh, 200 surface feet per minute and for half inch drill it's maybe five tau per uh, chip load let's now save it and apply selected speeds and feeds to the current tool yes I want that and um, as you see the speed is now 200 and chip load is uh, 5 tau and the feed per revolution is uh, point, uh, 10 tau now we can save this tool into the same library comment nothing brand name is loaded Guring and series name G5 Add it to the library. Now we have five tools in our library, and this one is Guring Drill Series G5. We can switch the tools, and you see that the custom table now follows the uh, the tool the tool selected in the tool data. Right now we can create a copy of this G5. Uh, uh, tool just by uh, clicking edit new for example then go to tool actions I oh, no, just add tool select the custom speeds and feeds if you want to use them and uh, you can call it another drill or something else and Now this another drill will also be uh, from the custom. You be using the speeds and feeds from the custom table G5, Guring G5. Let's uh, close this window to see if the the settings were saved and relaunch the uh, HSM advisor. Okay, so let's check our check our table. Let's check out our uh, solid end mill. You can see that the tables are still available, and the data that we entered is still there. So this is how you can use the custom uh, speeds and feeds with tool types and. Uh, Basically, I'm just trying to make it clear that the brand name and series name drives the selection of the custom tool table. Um, 
Well, basically that's all the, I have to say right now. If you have any questions, write me an email and uh, post on forums and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Bye.